and welcome back to the Skulk. We're carrying on where we last left off, pretty much because I'm gonna stay here and binge play for a few next episodes, so... I mean, that's all I'm gonna do for now, because until I get the idea of what I want to do on my channel, of what, how often I do recordings of the same game in a row, I st yeah, we'll do that. I, I mainly it's playing, I'm playing hours worth, uh, an hour or two hours, I don't know how exactly long, but I want to play a long time, a few episodes worth, but all meshed together in one sitting is about an hour and a half to two. Let's move on. <laughs> Burpins. Some burpins. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that was like a transformation right there. That was awesome. By the scribes! The sea! I, I didn't know it was so beautiful! Having escaped the waters of Worm Gulf, you now see what must be the Hulk of Ogres. Far in the, on the horizon. Those those trees look very, very similar to that of the, the Lorax. <laughs> Not everyone has taken well to the sea voyage, however. <laughs> Tizo is wondering, wondering if Headwind is feeling better. <laughs> He requires further rest, Tizo. All we can do is wish him a swift recovery. Reader, sir. From this point, our voyage must diverge from Bertrude's instructions. Please, consult with your companions about which course to take. Yes, sir. Oh, there, no, yeah, the Hulk of Ogres is right over there. At the, oh. The south current towards the Hulk, oh, uh, Hulk of ogres, of ogres, teams with fish and other sea life. Tizo wants to fish for something tasty here. I don't fish, and but the thing is, I'm not the one that's going to be fishing and eating it. I guess. Un under King Pass, the northern, uh, the north current towards the Hulk of ogres runs a quick, uh, as quick as under King Ogres himself. Ray believes that the eight scribes shall bless you here. So have Tizo be delighted uh, on the bottom path, or be blessed uh, through the top path. Any meeny money? I don't know. It's just like, it's, 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 I, 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 they're both good. They're both good. They're both our peoples, and, and we can only go down one path, and I'm sure the other one will understand about the other. They both have their... This is what I'm bad at. I can do it. I can just go, eh, I'll go up here. Or I'll go down there. Or I'll take this or left or right. I'll take apple pie over cherry pie. Or cherry pie over effect. I just... When I try to make a decision amongst two probably equal decisions, for me, I might have a preference, but because I care about my friends, which they are, Tizo and... Ray. <laughs> I was the one who named her. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> but they're my friends, and I want to make the right decision. And the thing is, there's no right decision, there's just a decision in this one. Blessings, Tiso. Tiso. Tiso, have some fun. I'm not- I don't condole it- I don't condole it, but it's not my full decision myself. I just want Tisa to be happy. I want my whole peoples to be happy. All my peoples. Everybody and other peoples. The sea is peaceful for the most part, save for occasional strange shimmers beneath the surface. You realize the lone minstrel is looking down at them along with you. Those shapes down there. Some of the some maybe must be worms of the sea dominion cast into exile. I understand they tirelessly fought the fought fought the, uh, fought com commonwealths where wars. Having grown weary of their own, they must take 
worthy of adversaries. Make worthy of it. I'm just bad. To, I'll just roll with it. You know, I've bad, I'm bad reading. <laughs> Tizo appears to have spotted something tasty. Tizo. Did you have an expression that I missed it? Dang it. Gosh dang it. I might have not missed anything. I'll see it in the editing. Tizo dives without warning into the depths below. And there he goes again. That one enjoys being at sea, despite its perils. <laughs> Eventually, the little imp resurfaces, clutching something in his claws. Hizo caught a spotted slark. A, you should always, you could always sell it. Let's see, trade item ninety three. Wow. Could have been blessed, but not by no, no not to, not by knowing of what the blessing would be, unless I looked up online and see what it is. But you know what? I already missed it because I missed the chance. Because I wanted Tiza to have his little adventure. At least you have arrived. At last you have arrived at the Hulk of Ogres. After journeying across the sea, it seems the next rite is to commence here soon. Though there is no sign of your next adversaries. Yet. Gosh dang it, I am thirsty. Man, you are. F you Are you stowing away on our ship, on our uh, ship plat slash ship wagon? You just. You're just following us. I, I'm pretty sure you are following us. <sighs> so, I'd like to go over there, but first. First, we're gonna talk to our people. Oh, the Jodariel and the book and the potion? There's a potion. There's a potion. Silver Goalhead, a limbless, cold-blooded creature, rescued from the sea. Rescued? It lived in the sea. It is fully grown, and has led a rich life. It was not rescued, unless it was literally under attack. Is this is the table shimmering or something? Okay, they, uh, let's see if the book the book has something new. The disgusting book cover made out of t skin. If you guys didn't watch like two episodes ago. And uh, 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 it's back. Don't do that again. These headphones are very uh, touchy. <laughs> I lightly lay up, brush my hand on it and the weight of my hand and arm just pop it out of its socket. I just don't know. <clears throat> In the words of Gol Gohanelanen, the Master General, the Emperor Solom Mur knew not of this, of course. His expedition yielded not the treasure he desired, but brought him closer to his country than he had ever been before. As he traveled down the river, scoring in pursuit of greed, he found instead an inkling of shame. He saw the sunken faces of his people, heard their words from him. He yeah, heard the her words from him. In time, he could not ignore it, and it proved more than he could bear. The river finally claimed him, he belonging, his belongings, and his retinue. Once his people heard, I understand they cried with joy. Perhaps he ought have, perhaps he ought have perished. But the mercy shown to him, I think, is what transformed him. I didn't, I can't recall everything because I'm taking this in long stra at the long. The, I'm playing, stopping, playing, stopping after I play a section and stopping and playing section. So I can't recall what the last thing is unless I read all the book over again, which I don't really want to do. But at least I'm getting the little parts and stuff in there. Maybe you guys can uh, tell me all in one big bulk about what this book is all meaning. Because I'm not getting a whole lot out of it. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I am very sorry. I do like some lore. For some reason, I just haven't gotten into that one. Hey, Joe Dario, how are you doing? Interact and speak with her. She seems to have something on her mind. What is it? Reader, a moment of your time. You ask her what's on her mind. Tom <laughs> Diamond. Hedwin. He is being to—he's beginning to recover from his illness. However, 
Its sudden onset, onset serves as a reminder, I believe. I have known Hedwin since he was a child. Even now, I hesitate to say that he has grown. Nevertheless, there, is, there are such things that even I would never say to him directly. For instance, I struggle with his confidence at times. Whether he leads us to our freedom or to our doom, I am ambivalent. That's the word I don't know. <laughs> Speak not a word of this to him. Of course, in case that is unclear. I shall tell him in my own way if I, if and when the time requires. In any case, when time remain, when times remind me of his mortal weakness, I end up having to consider what should have, what should happen, should we become separated permanently. She trails off a while. What I mean to say is, you should know that I am fully pledged now to this quest of ours, whether Hedwin is the one to lead us to its end or not. I have my reasons. One of them is him. I expect the same holds true for you. That is all I wish to say. Take care, reader. Thank you. And I do. I take care. I want to be here for every one of you. She nods and brushes past you towards the door. Yeah, I, I, just like they all say, it, it, or mainly just the, all the being the, the, the minstrel and her. I do wish for a sort of recovery. I don't want them all, any of them to be that way. Hopping around the side. Oh, hello, Tizo. How, how, how you doing up there? Make sure the coast is clear. Hmm. Oh, he's making sure. Okay. All right, let's let's go to the slug market and see Mr. Hey, you want this wash day? And the wash day? Oh, hey, you guy. Why are you running into all you out here? Right in the middle of a drink. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nah, not a lot of customers today. So uh, have a look. I'll, I'll give you a good deal. Hmm. But the thing is, thing is, that's very cheap, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I tried it. It just doesn't. Let's see. What do you do? Thorn did not. When ore casting raises the bear's maximum range. I don't cast aura very often. I'm more of the I like being ranged and supportive in games. This one's not the best like handling for me in that form. I just I just can't really do very well in that in the, in that form. Apparently aura moves faster. Two hundred. Just to move ten percent faster, which I'm pretty sure is decent. Having more health than the right. Ah, this is cheap, and we can try it again. It is just, mmm. I love, I want the stuff, but it just didn't work. I tried it on two different items. I will try it again, but if it messes up on me again, you just, you just, you poo-poo. You just poo-poo. Let me in the pyre, the bear deals bonus damage, and I, that's what I want on here. You work didn't work. See? Just... D d mm. Does it need more? We need to put a lot onto it. Oh! I've been missing out on a lot of the dust! I know it seems really cheap if it just up by two every time, but they could have said just one. 
Hello, Melly Ocean Face. That's your way all mine and dad's, you guys. Oh, that's your dad. I did not know it was your dad. I thought that uh, I did. I just okay. Bye. Thanks for your just your just d dust. Gosh, dang it! I missed out on all the dust. I feel like those here and there storytelling and talkings. We'll commence the right in the next one, because sometimes it takes a little while, and I have a bit more stuff to talk about in the, in the beginning of it, during the right, and afterwards the right. It's all in one sh little package right there. So we're going to end it, wrap this up right here and now, and see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.